The Biden administration is said to be weighing plans to introduce a new policy that would allow immigration judges and asylum officers to access classified information about migrants whose cases are being heard. This comes after the Biden administration has had several instances of migrants on the terror watch list being released into the interior of the country after coming illegally. This new policy would reverse a 2004 order that was put in place to instruct only DHS to disclose such information. That meant that asylum officers and immigration judges could only access it if it was a, quote, last resort. Any information that a migrant was on the terror watch list or had national security concerns associated with their cases was disclosed by the Department of Homeland Security and their prosecutors in court. That's how immigration judges and asylum officers previously accessed the information. But with the several instances of individuals being released into the country and the Department of Homeland Security knowing of their ties to terrorism, this has raised a few red flags that is believed to be the impetus for this policy change. Former terrorism prosecutor Andrew Arthur, who's now at the Center for Immigration Studies, told us that this new rule is possibly motivated by the upcoming November election. He believes that the Biden administration is concerned about individuals coming across the border being released with suspected terror ties. He said, quote, I think the Biden administration is very concerned. I think they're now only waking up to the fact that this would be an electoral disaster for Democrats and for Biden if one of these guys were to do something. This is a huge vulnerability politically, and I think it's a huge national security vulnerability. The other cases involving migrants coming across the border and being released with suspected terror ties also involve a Somali man who crossed the border into California in 2023 was released into the country and said to not be a match on the terror watch list, even though he was later found to be about a year later. He was then nabbed by ICE in Minnesota. ICE had confirmed that this man was a member of the Al-Shabaab terror organization and was involved in weapons manufacturing for the group. In 2022, the Biden administration also released a Colombian national, Isnardo Garcia Amado, a 35-year-old who crossed into Yuma, Arizona, and just days after his release into the U.S. interior, the FBI determined that he was a positive match on the terror watch list. ICE didn't receive authorization to arrest him until the next month. 